what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel i am back with another video for you all and this one is just gonna be real chill real low-key i'm gonna show you how i made this green and yellow open arch balloon display i decided to call this look the enchanted forest not only because of all of the green balloons but also do you see those trees and all the foliage in the background it just reminded me of that so Go ahead and grab your tea, your coffee, maybe even a little blanket, depending on where you live. And uh, yeah, hit that like button. We're about to get into it. While I love the trees, being outdoors meant there was a lot of grass. And we all know grass is the enemy. So I just put down this little sequin drape to stop the, you know, to make sure that the grass wouldn't shred my balloons. I pre-inflated and tied my balloons into this little pyramid shape because I knew that was the way I wanted them to come through the open arch. And I did this by using, as the base, all clusters of six. So the bottom row is three clusters of six going across, followed by two, two and two. Well, actually two, two, one and one. And then I just kind of shaped them and tied them into a way that made it look like a pyramid. This is the initial base or the wall. Next, I'll be using my clusters to build, build the garland out forward. So it's kind of protruding out of the arch into, into the space. And I did this by attaching three clusters together forming a mini garland and then attaching that mini garland to the second row that way it kind of just flows outwards I did this three times so I used three garlands consisting of three clusters so basically it's like an octopus but with only three legs all extending from the main body of the garland and from there you just take those three legs and tie them together you can tie them together with the necks or using 260s To enhance this design, I wanted to extend the main display right over to the bouncy castle to kind of have it connecting and looking like it was all one complete design. I added this golden rope to break up the green and just add a little bit more texture. And if you want to learn how to make these, go ahead and watch my last video. I'll link it right here, which I showed you how to make these nice symmetric mini balloon chain garlands. Yeah, and from here it was pretty simple, just putting in my 3-inch filler balloons, tightening my clusters together to fill in any gaps, and eventually adding my florals. I did end up putting an 18-inch balloon right in that big gap. It filled it perfectly and completed the look. For the florals, I used pink peonies, roses, and some cream hydrangeas. And for the greenery, I used these draping ferns. It was my first time using them and I really liked how they came out. So I'll definitely link all of the florals that I used below. Added a few gold butterflies and this was the final look. Overall, I like how this design came out. I love the idea of using non-traditional colors, even though this party was for a young lady. I liked using the greens and yellows something about the trees and the whole atmosphere it just really set the mood especially with the sun setting and kind of coming through the foliage just right you know how that light hits it but anyways i hope you found this video calming but also a little bit helpful and of course if you would like to see more videos like this feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button on your way out as always thanks for watching and until the next one peace